What started as a typical checkup ended with a devastating diagnosis for a young Fairmont girl. Her kidneys were failing at just four years old, but then that little girl got a generous life-saving gift from her preschool teacher. Kirsten Mitchell has the touching story. From playing in the mud to spending time with her big sister. I was running around, I was singing. Six-year-old Parker Lintelman is full of life. She's always been spicy. Yeah, she's always spicy. been spicy. Spicy, yeah. <laughs> but around her fourth birthday, her parents and teachers noticed something may be wrong. She was putting things in her mouth that shouldn't be in her mouth, dirt, Play-Doh. She was diagnosed with stage four chronic kidney disease and needed a transplant. We just assumed that one of us would be able to donate directly to her, being that she's our child, and that's not what happened. Um, I'm A blood type, he's B and she's O. They turned to the community for help and Parker's preschool teacher, Kim Miller, answered the call. Me having children, me caring for children all day long, I wanted to help. Kim wasn't a match either, but through the National Kidney Registry Voucher Program, she donated her kidney to a stranger to boost Parker to the top of the list. Kim is an absolutely incredible human, and we're so blessed to have her in our life. Um, she's truly one of a kind. They waited four and a half months. Two days before her sixth birthday, we got a phone call. The best gift they could have imagined. They'd found the best genetic match for Parker. I mean, me donating it was fine, and then going on with my life is fine, but now we're to the point where this is what I did it for. Her one action not only changed Parker's life, but also started a chain reaction across the country that's helped several people um, live longer, healthier lives. Naturally, Parker has questions. What color is my stitches going to be? What? What long of a cut I'm going to have? What tool are you going to use? But she knows Miss Kim gave her the gift of life. This is one of the specialist things because it keeps me better in life. Yeah, keeps you better in life. Seniors are more plugged in than ever before. Over the last decade, the number of people over 65 who own smartphones has gone up from 13% to 61%. But often seniors have questions about that technology. Well, now a Minneapolis teenager is teaching them some new tricks. Take a look. If you click on this, it'll open up all these apps here. Technology is just one of Graham Bennett's hobbies. The Blake School sophomore is a standout runner with his eye on medical school. This just shows you all the tabs that you have open. He also has an eye out for his neighbors. He wanted to know how he could help the senior residents of the Kenwood, so he reached out to an employee. She said you could be helping with the devices and things like that. He quickly learned that for some really bright people, the technology that he's native to is foreign to them. Oh, very cool. But it wasn't really taught to us. We had to try and teach ourselves the best we could along the way. He comes often, deciding to spend weekend mornings as a regular volunteer. So, Georgia, whose family is in California and New York, is a regular. How do I do the calls from the computer? Once you sign in with the Apple ID, then you can FaceTime people. Graham helped me to get me back in so that I could use my internet and be able to talk to all my family and so forth, because otherwise it was being very, it was very difficult. Now she's learned about digital video and how to use editing software. So a lot of the time when they first come in, they're frustrated about a problem. And then by the time they leave, they're like more curious about what else they can learn. Monica, whose family's in New York, is learning about storing those family memories. So you need something that connects to this on one side and connects to the camera on the other side. He lets you uh, try it and see if you've gotten it. If not, he'll explain it again. He's very patient. Patient and effective. These clients are now more connected than ever with their long distance families. And you're helping connect them. Yeah. Does that feel good? Yeah, that feels good. A big hearted and tech savvy teen who knows it's never too late to learn. And then you can just click on it once. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO News. A seventh grader in Maple Grove is on a mission to make a big change that could affect millions of Americans and it may be working. She's even caught the attention of Capitol Hill. Jonah Kaplan explains. Congress does so much more than just pass a budget. 
And with no speaker, there's no action on any number of bills, including some that seem like slam dunks. I got sick at camp, but I didn't think that me getting sick would be able to change 40 million people's lives. 12-year-old Adina Togel has celiac disease, a condition where consuming any gluten can get her really sick. Two summers ago, Togel was hospitalized after a severe reaction, but it wasn't from anything she ate. Her family thinks it was her antibiotic to treat strep throat. The amoxicillin, like all pharmaceutical drugs, may list active and inactive ingredients, but it does not list any potential allergens like gluten or lactose. There are some things that people just don't look at, and so they should look at it. When you're looking at these labels, do you even know what you're looking for? Not a clue. And a lot of them are not even Googleable, you know, to, to get clear answers. Once Togel got home, the family went looking for answers, and they said the pharma companies wouldn't play ball. That's when they went to their congressman, they Dean Phillips. The they wrote every the day for weeks until they got a meeting. The result is the ADENA Act, co-sponsored by Phillips and 21 others from both parties. The bill would require drug makers to make allergen information available to all consumers. But the bill right now can't go anywhere, and Phillips says this fight is personal. Uh, and we should all be having those conversations about identifying somebody of integrity with the mission to be the Speaker of the House, not just the Speaker for the Democrats or the Republicans. And yes, I'm working on that right now. Adina Togel knows she's not a voter yet, but she does have an important voice. Jonah Kaplan, WCCO News. Up next, a Minnesota teacher goes viral. We'll tell you how he is reaching students beyond just the classroom.